Welcome back at the Prison of Salon in Vienna. I'm happy to have you back here. My name is Vladimir Buzan, and together with Ferdinand Broy, we are presenting you today the Model 214 Vienna concert. I just played a favorite and virtuoso piece of mine, Toccata by Kachaturian, and already you could listen the really major force and, and uh, sound quality of this instrument and the size of the instrument. I would like to introduce you the very number one of the 14 Vienna concert that was launched in the year 2016 and it is the second instrument in the series of Vienna concert tradition just right after the 280 BC concert grant. Um, Prison of pianos have a specific character each model is different, so each model, each piece, each unit has the really own character. I'm very happy to have now Ferdinand Troy here, and he will now explain the specific details about the 214 year concept. Hello, and welcome back to the Hörsdorfer Salon. Today we want to feature and highlight the Model 214 Vienna Concert. Model 214 is quite an important size. It's the, right now the best-selling model of Bösendorfer. It's a 7-foot size grand or 214 centimeters. In terms of shape, the instrument is a typical Bösendorfer with the outer rim, which is made out of sprues, um, and we have one corner on the left end, the base side, and the rest is running in round shape, unlike the smaller sizes of Bösendorfer, which are all round shaped, for instance. It's the perfect instrument for private use, for private connoisseurs of piano music, but at the same time also for high professionals, it's the instrument which is used for practicing studios, for teaching studios, but also for smaller concert halls and for recording studios. Let me talk a little bit about the design and construction of the 214 Vienna concert. First of all, it's of course a typical Bösendorfer with the high amount of solid wood, spruce in particular, to form what we call the resonance case. But at the same time, it has got applied the Vienna concert technology. And this is based on, first of all, a very precise calculation of the scaling design to even out and balance the tonal character of the instrument and also to balance out the tension structure throughout the entire instrument. The second major point is to create this three-dimensional customized form which we apply to all components of the soundboard assembly. And this uh, is applied to not just the soundboard but also the ribs, each and every rib is structured and shaped individually. Uh, the same three-dimensional structure we apply to the bridge assembly, even to the soundboard base. And this is assembled as a separately unit, and this is ultimately precise and even in its structure. And this is helping to not just create the typical Bösendorfer warm and colorful sound character, but also to have an, a soundboard assembly which is uh, extremely sensitive, extremely responsive, and therefore leading to this enormous dynamical spectrum and the very good sustain of the instrument also. Vladimir Let's hear another example of the instrument, how it sounds. I have a special gift for you, Ferdinand, and that 
it's a piece that you often also play by yourself. I hope I can do it as good as you do. And it's the opera 